exceptions. Grand Forks police continue their hunt for a male suspect following the assault of two women in two separate incidents in the same neighborhood. The women were not seriously injured, but it's left police going door to door searching for this suspect. Valley News Team's Neil Carlson shows us what's happening and how you can help. Both of the unarmed attacks happened in the dark early morning hours. One happened here on the 2300 block of 10th Avenue North, next to the entrance of Memorial Park Cemetery. The second assault happened just three blocks away, around the corner on the 1000 block of 20th Street North. First victim didn't have a whole lot of detail, still isn't really able to recall what happened. Uh, again, the second victim had more detail, and in that one, the uh, suspect approached her, um, kind of grabbed a hold of her. She was able to, to fight her way free and take off running, fortunately, before anything more happened. Folks who live in the neighborhood don't seem overly concerned. They say they're a tight-knit group that keeps an eye out on one another. Plus, police even went door-to-door -door this weekend. We do, we do. We have great neighbors, though, so we feel pretty good where we are, where okay. we are right now. So. Okay, think the, think the cops are doing a good job on this. Thing. They're fantastic, yes. They come door-to-door -door this weekend? They did, they did. We weren't home at the time, but we have a little card so we can call them back. So have you seen anything unusual around here? Nope. I haven't seen a thing. So who knows what's going on? I know. It's kind of crazy, but... At this point, police only have a sketchy description of the suspect. He's described as a 5 foot 8 inch white male with a medium build and light colored shaggy hair. The only defining part of the suspect's description is that he has a raspy voice. The suspect was wearing a dark hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and athletic shoes. However, there are a lot of apartments in the area to quickly slip away unless someone has surveillance video. At least not that we're aware of. I yeah. mean, obviously that's okay. something if, if citizens in those areas have okay. surveillance on their house, we certainly would like to know that, but as of now, we did, we're not aware of any. In Grand Forks, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. Police say they were able to find one piece of evidence, which was not a weapon, that may be tied to the assaults. If you have any information about these cases, you're asked to contact Grand Forks Police, and you can also text them an anonymous tip. Police